I am so grateful for Walmart, their associates, and this pickup more than ever right now. Work it, make it, do it, makes us honor, better, faster, stronger. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I have another Walmart grocery online pickup order for you guys for this week. And this week we spent right under $100, but I did buy some things for my mother-in-law as well that I will show you since we're trying to make sure that she especially does not go out. We have been self-isolating, quarantining ourselves, and only going out for the essentials, which is just once a week to do our Walmart grocery pickup, and it's mainly produce. So we have been advised here in Louisiana, it is really bad, our person to virus ratio. It's probably one of the top in the country, honestly. And we've been advised to just go out once a week and only buy groceries for a week, and that's what I've been doing. Last week I got a lot of hate with hoarding. Definitely not hoarding, guys. If you wanted to see a hoarder, girl would show you a hoarder. I've just been getting what I need for my family of four or five with my mother-in-law. My kids are home, we're homeschooling. I've never experienced that before. They're eating a crap ton. Moms, let me know down below if you are struggling with getting your kids fed. You've used to them going to school and now you're trying to figure out how many snacks and things that you need to buy and essentials. And that's what we're doing. We're going through our pantry, we're going through our freezer, our refrigerator, eating things. You're gonna see some of the things that I normally don't buy on a weekly basis aren't in this haul because I have enough of that already. So I'm just buying things that we are completely out of are low on. So I did the Walmart grocery pickup. I wanted to mention this first. They are allowing you to do two like items and nothing more. So that's fair for the people to be able to get the things that they need, which I think is great on Walmart's part. And they're also letting you book up your reservation two days in advance. So my suggestion is to put everything in your cart and have your cart ready. And then at night at 12 o'clock, they will open up another spot for the following day. And then you can go and reserve a spot. They won't be booked. And that way you can get what you need. That's what I did and it worked out perfectly. So I ordered these on Thursday. I'm picking these up on the 21st on Saturday. So that's exactly what I did. It worked out perfectly. Let me take you to the counter and show you what we got for under $100 this week. So here's an overview of what $99 with tax got us this week for the online grocery pickup. Like I said, guys, go ahead and put things in your cart and check out at midnight for that next time slot so you can get some stress off your shoulders, I know. So we got some bananas, way more than I got last time because Waylon threw, flew through them before the week mark. So I knew that was gonna happen, especially with him being home. I'm figuring out for lunch, a snack, and dinner and breakfast what I need to get to sustain these boys. Like boys eat like nobody's business and they're not even teenagers, what am I gonna do? So I got a whole thing of bananas for Waylon. I got two lemons for me for my waters. I got some Canyon Bakehouse. I went with the Mountain White one this time just because Trey hasn't really been liking the other one. I don't think it's gonna be much difference but just trying to switch it up a little bit. Thankful that they had that in stock. I got some avocados. Now remember I mentioned that you can only do two like items. So they only let me put two avocados in my cart and I was like, uh, the girl eats one a day. So I know I'm trying not to be greedy, but what I did is I put in the bag of avocados and this was a substitution. So they were out of the little small bag that should have had like the smaller ones and they subbed me for three of these larger mama jamas. So I'm probably gonna only eat like half of these at a time because these are the huge ones and that is massive but i'm grateful for that and grateful to have my avocados for the week the boys went through the peeled sliced apples i got last week a five count was sufficient for the week so i went ahead and picked up another one of those it's just easier to get this guys because both the boys are i've mentioned before if you've been with me if you're new here they're really picky so i don't mind paying the extra pennies to do that and we're really they're low we got a lot of what we need and the substitutions were great there was only two things out of stock which was some chicken breast that i wanted to get not like it was the deli kind and then some Brussels sprouts. They were out of those, but everything else I'm super happy and grateful for Walmart. So grapes, both my boys have been flying through them. All the ones I bought last week are gone. So I went ahead and got a huge package of that. I want to say that was like $4.98 for that package. Yes, we're buying the shredded lettuce again because we're going to be doing taco night one night with the pulled pork I got from Sam's Club. I'm so thankful that I bought all that before all this went down because that pulled pork makes three meals for us. And I'm very grateful to have that on the meal plan and adjusting the meal plan accordingly to what we have. So I got that for the pulled pork taco night. 
I got some blueberries. This was a substitution in my favor. So I got the little small package and they subbed me for this huge big one. And I got this for myself. I'm not gonna eat all these this week, but I'll freeze the other ones. I love having blueberries in the freezer as well. And that's to go in my two good yogurts. I got some strawberries. Waylon's been loving strawberries as well. These look beautiful. They did a really great job picking those out. And I've been eating the damn berries as y'all know. Got some blackberries. I went ahead and got a huge one because again, these are mainly for Waylon. My hubby likes them too. And being that they're home, everybody's home, I wanted to make sure we had enough of the fresh produce and healthy options on hand. So got some mild pico de gallo for the hubby for taco night. We've talked about this before. This one actually looks pretty darn good. Most of the time when I get this from Walmart, it looks pretty sad. And like I tell y'all all the time, it goes mold on me pretty quickly. But this is like the best one I've ever seen. So Walmart, they stepping it up, y'all. They taking care of us. Thank you, Walmart. Hallelujah. Two goods. I can only put two in my cart of one flavor. So I put two vanilla and two strawberry. I wanted to get all vanilla, but remember I was limited. So apparently they only had one strawberry. So they subbed me a vanilla at the time. And I was like, yes, Winnie. Y'all just get used to the noise because we corn. Okay, people would always give us moms out there on YouTube flack before with our kids in the background We got no choice. Okay, and even before so I mean come on now But I got four of those to have on hand because I've been eating those as a snack See I just had to move the grapes from over here from the hall because my little grape chipmunk is over here stealing the grapes Y'all like what is our life with this quarantine? So they were out of the Kerrygold butter I'm fine with this substitution. This is the Vermont cultured butter. I've bought this before. Super happy with that substitution. I needed butter. I was running low. We've been eating a lot more lately with chopples and things. I did pick up another package of bacon. I still have that other one from last week, but I know this week we're going to be having more of it as far as what I plan on cooking dinners and eating. So I wanted to have another one and my store is fully stocked with bacon now. Very grateful. This is the original uncured one. Last week I got the cherry wood. They both have some dextrose in it. So you know what? It is what it is. There's no carbs on the packaging. This is what I can get. And guys, we can't be picky, honestly, with what we're getting. Another substitution in my favor. When I went to check out, they didn't have any sharp cheddar cheese. So I just put a little eight ounce of the mild one. But I guess they're out of that and they got this in stock. So I went ahead and got this for my substitution, which that's what I wanted originally anyway. So happy with that. I still have the big one from last week. But again, we've been flying through chaffles, omelets, things like that. And I wanted to make sure I had some so we weren't going out but our once a week haul. We are not leaving the house at all except for to do our Walmart grocery pickup. And that's it. Uh, we've been going for our daily walks but not to go anywhere else. We are definitely social isolating ourselves. Now there's the grapes. I got some pink salmon. This is a skinless fillets. This is the two pound one. I'm so happy they had this in stock. I've been missing my salmon something fierce and it's been sold out the past two weeks. So I got a big package of that for lunch. Another substitution was burgers. So I put this big like huge 32 count one is the only one they had available at the time when I checked out. And I was like, that's fine. We are out of burgers. The hubby and I eat probably this every day for lunch. I wanted to have something easy for lunches, guys, since we're in here, just to make life easy on ourselves. And this is something that we actually enjoy. So they were out of the 32 count, so they subbed me for two of the 12 counts. Is it the same amount? No, but again, we can only get two like items, so I understand why they did that. If we didn't have this going on, I'm sure they would have given me three, but I'm happy with that to have 24 on hand. You know, this will last us over a week, so I shouldn't have to buy this again in next week's weekly outing to go do our grocery pickup. So happy they had a substitution in general because I know they're out of ground meat. And I'm just grateful for anything, guys. I am not going to be complaining about anything. Happy to get what I can get. Got two of the Simply Organic Tostinos Blue Corn Chips. This is for Trey's Keto Queso. We've got the cheese from last week. So as you can see, I don't have that in the haul. They had green chilies, but I opted not to get them because we did fine with the jalapeno pepper. So I'm not buying things if I don't need them to leave them for people in need for sure. We need this. We probably need more than two bags because he flies through this, especially with being home now. I've been limiting him to only have the cheese at dinner though, which has been helping. But I got two of those because they allowed me to. I like this brand because it has expeller press oils instead of the other ones. Waylon was out of his cheddar bunny, so I went ahead and got one of these huge 50% more boxes for him. Again, with 
snacking and with lunches i you know i'm not used to that so i'm having to like plan accordingly and that's why the budget per week is just a slight bit more but mainly everything that we paid for was for fresh produce and for cold stuff now this right here was not mine this is for my mother-in-law if you're new here she has a house on our property and instead of her going out and being exposed to the elements and she is older I said, look, whatever you need, let me add it to my grocery haul and we will go and pick it up. So it's funny the things that she asked for because she's definitely not keto and never has claimed to be, guys. She actually needs to gain weight. Um, but she wanted some sausage, so all they had available was the Double D. This is a local sausage to us, so I got one of these. Pretty expensive for this one link. I think it's almost $6. This right here for her was about $20. So my whole haul was 99 bucks. So subtract that and you can tell how much we actually paid for my family of four. Craft Singles, this was a substitution for her. I put the Velveeta slices in there is what she wanted, but they subbed the 16 slices, which she was totally happy with. She also requested some rice in a bag. I know, don't come for me. It's not me, it's for my mother-in-law. This is what she wanted, y'all. We're in Louisiana. She wanted some red beans and rice, but she's doing it like... Uh, quick style not real way to do it and i don't blame her right so she got the white rice boiling bag there's four bags in there to put in the microwave and she also got some blue runner beans they didn't have the regular kind so they i just got this no salt one and these are the ones in the can she heats them up she adds a little something something to it and she adds sausage and she pours it over rice and this is a meal for her for several days since she lives alone um so i got that for her and also she requested to get some navy beans to have for a dinner one night so i got two cans of that these cans guys are close to three dollars a can like what i mean a whole thing of regular beans that's what she needs to be doing that's more cost efficient but i'm not telling her nothing she's my mother-in-law if she wants the blue runner and the boil in the bag rice and some sausage i'm gonna get it for her to make her whatever happy right we are not going to go there also guys i want to mention that I was able to do the grocery pickup. My order was ready 30 minutes before the scheduled time and they brought it to my car in less than five minutes. So Walmart is freaking winning and they also brought out this awesome bag of treats for their customers. I mean, they are just, they've stepped up their game plus some. So I got some Cheez-Its. I'll give that to the boys for a snack. They got this muscle milk. They sell this at Sam's Club, y'all. I looked into this for the chocolate milk. It has maltodextrin in it, so I'm not a fan and I wouldn't promote it, but they gave me one for free, so I'll probably give that either to my mother-in-law because she drinks and sure drinks and see if she likes them, or I will give it to um, Waylon to let him try, but I'm not a fan of the ingredients, so I would not buy those. I'm bummed because I was looking forward to those for the chocolate milk aspect for Waylon, but can't go there. They gave me a pod. Yes, indeed. They gave me a Starbucks vanilla K-cup pod. You know the girl will be drinking that, so I'm grateful for that for sure. They also got some Persil in here, dish tabs. Yes, indeed. What is there, like one or two in there? And then what else do we got? We got a little clip, a little grocery delivery clip, and they got a little coupons in there. And what is this? A little bag, a little ripen, ready to ripen bag. How cool is that? I'm definitely going to save that for my avocados. Yes, indeed. Come on, Walmart. We are winning. So I am so pumped about this week's grocery pickup, y'all. I mean, I cannot be more happy and grateful for Walmart for still having the service, the employees going to work every day, exposing themselves, taking care of us, and making sure that we have what we need. And you can call me what you want down below for the people that were just passing through last week and not the followers that always watch these videos. This is not hoarding, okay? If I wanted to hoard, I would have gotten, I mean, they only let you do two of each, right? So I would have done two of each of everything. And as you can see, I did not do that with some things I did because I know we'll need those things, but I just got what we needed for the week. Again, we're just gonna go out once a week, not expose ourselves or anybody else and get the essentials that we need each week. They're telling us here in our state, y'all, that the trucks are coming, they're stocking, and they definitely are. And I'm seeing it get better as time goes on. So we need to just take a breath, calm down, go out and get the things that you and your family need, but don't go crazy with it because it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be all right. So that is everything we got for under $100. Walmart grocery pickup for the win. I also wanted to show y'all that I picked up a couple of things or ordered a couple of things from Amazon just because they didn't have these in stock when I went to make my pickup order and the hubs needed some more sparkling ice drinks. So these were $9.98. It's a little bit more than I'd like to pay for a 12 pack versus what Sam's Club's got going on. But you know what? We 
are adapting, we're adjusting to what's going on right now and the girl doesn't wanna to have to go inside multiple stores. So that's why I opted to get these from Amazon for a little bit more. So $9.98 and what I like about this one from Amazon, y'all know I like this coconut pineapple. It's my favorite sparkling ice, it's the Hubs, it's the kids, if they drink these, we limit them on these, but definitely me and the Hubs favorite. So I went ahead and got that one. You can get that on Amazon. Shipped to your house, 12 pack for under $10. And then I got the pink variety pack, which also has the coconut pineapple in there. You can see we're a little bit obsessed with those. So those got shipped to my house, guys. I didn't have to go in store, so that's another option. They have Prime Pantry on Amazon. I highly recommend. Here's something else I went ahead and ordered. You can see the kids already busted into it. Again, eating everything in sight, right? So these are from Whole Foods because y'all know Whole Foods and Amazon have merged and they're one thing now. This is the 365 brand, the organic mini cheddar cheese sandwiches. Guys, these ingredients on these, I don't know why I haven't picked these up in the store. I've just been passing them up. But the ingredients, it's a slew of them, but they're good. They're really good ingredients and I don't mind these for the kids. And you get, I think, eight packages in there and they're little mini ones. So this is definitely a better option than your Ritz brand. And as you can see, they're already loving them. And these were so cheap. I wanna say this was like $3 for this eight pack. And I also got some medicines and stuff that I could not get from Walmart or I didn't wanna go to a local place and get and had them shipped to my door. So Amazon, it's still functioning, it's still going guys. Take advantage of it, especially if you're a Prime member. Check into that Prime Pantry, they have a lot of food options on there that maybe your local Walmart doesn't or your local store doesn't either. So there's another option to social distance and still get the stuff you need for your family. So don't forget y'all, if you wanna use Walmart Grocery Pickup and you've never used it before, I have a link in the pinned comments in the description box down below. That will get you $10 off your first order if you want to do it, if it's available in your area. Remember all the tips that I gave you about adding to your cart, checking out at midnight. I know you gotta stay up late, but it's gonna be the only way to guarantee you have a spot. Everybody wants to do the pickup right now because they don't want to expose themselves or others. This is a great way to get your essentials my gosh, these kids. And it be safe, guys. It be a safe way to do it. So kudos to Walmart, their employees, the company. They're making things right. They're doing awesome. And I appreciate them and will continue my business with them thus after this coronavirus because of the way that they are handling things. It's just spot on amazing. So guys, go and support local businesses. But a lot of my local businesses are white. So I'm having to rely on these big chains and Walmart is coming through. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. I apologize for it being loud, but again, this is life right now. And if you're not subscribed and you want to see more content here, I'd love to have you a part of the fam, so make sure to hit all the bells down below. Make sure you're notified every time I upload a video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you are well. I hope you're in good health, and I hope that you are able to get the things that you need. Y'all comment down below and let me know where you're shopping, number one. And number two, what things are your stores still out of? My store was out of eggs. You saw the girl didn't have eggs, but thankfully we have a local agriculture cultural school that's able to have eggs that we can go and pick up as of right now. So I'm thankful for that as well. But let me know where you're shopping, what you're still looking for, and what your store is out of. I love y'all so much. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Be kind out there. And we'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.